everyone. My name is Bob Sanker. I flew as a payload specialist on STS-61C. That was the Space Shuttle Columbia back in 1986. One. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Liftoff of Columbia in mission 61C. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Been asked to tell a, a couple of the stories of quote, interesting, unquote, things that happened on my flight. Two things came to mind. Uh, I've often been asked about sleeping in zero G. And I can sleep anywhere, anytime, in any situation. So for me, sleeping was, was really not a, not a problem at all over the duration of our flight, to the extent that one evening, rather than using the sleep restraints, which is the, the normal process for keeping yourself floating around the cabin, there are some Velcro straps on the uniform here, which I attached to the wall and fell asleep, Velcro to the wall. Now that worked out fine for a while, and, and by the way, I don't remember this part of the story because I was sleeping. At some point during the night, I pulled away from the wall and I'm floating around. Now the air is always being circulated in the shuttle, so the air would blow me across the cabin where one of my crew members, uh, Bill Nelson, had his sleep restraint attached to the wall. And of course, I bumped into him gently and he pushed me away and the air blew me back and he pushed me away. And after several cycles of this, Bill tells me, as I said, I, I was asleep. He got tired of this, and this is the part of the story that I now remember. I woke up the next morning and I was duct taped to the wall. Bill had decided that he would keep me from floating around by actually duct taping me to the wall. So there's a very human side to, uh, to space flight, and, and that was part of it, certainly, from, from our flight.